terrific. Okay. Well, well done. Do that. Like you know, they wanted me to do five hours. I'd be completely crazy. I just don't love my stuff that much. I'm more, you know what I'm interested in? What I'm going to type tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. That's all that interests me. The next poem, the next fucking line. What's past is past. I don't want to linger over it and read it and play with it and uh, jolly it up. It's gone. It's done. But what about things like post office or women? Do you look, ever that's look gone. Like it? No, that's gone. It's over. The writing itself is the release. It's the victory. That's that's all I that. If you can't write the next line, well, you're dead. The past doesn't matter. And you're still writing every night, huh? I not not every night. Uh, three or four out of seven. And if I don't get those in, I uh, don't act right. I feel sick. I, get very depressed. It's a release. It's a release. It's my psychiatrist letting this shit out. So. It's lucky I get paid for it. I do it for nothing. In fact, I'd pay to do it. You know, the writer. I'd you... pay people to... Here, I'll give you 10000 a year if you'll let me write. You but know. for years, you, you weren't paid to write. No, <laughs> hell no. no. I mean, how long? You worked at the post office 15, 18 years. Uh, no, nah, I... Uh, Quit at the age of fifty. Yeah, yeah. That was the second time you went back. Well, you see, I was a carrier and a clerk. Yeah, I, I quit as a clerk. One night I walked out, and uh, it was pretty chilly. As I was leaving the last night, a guy said, "That old man's got to be crazy quitting a good job like this. What's he gonna do?" I said, God, I don't know. What's he doing? He's lost his mind. No, he didn't say he lost his mind. He's not thinking right. I walked out of that building toward my car down the long, dark street. And I thought, Jesus, maybe they're right. But I didn't give a damn. I was ready to go down to Skid Row. I was tired of it all. Screw it. I, I used to read Blaze Sandrars. Oh, he's good. And of course, I've read of him. Yeah. That you and he were like brothers. I've read. I've only read portions of him. He was a crotchety old cruddy, outspoken, guy. very interesting guy. guy. Yeah, I've read everything I've read of his. I really liked. I should get a hold of more of him. I've always been trying to find. Him. But I get a little bit scared when I read him. I say, this guy's fucking good, like Celine, you know. Yeah, but yeah. even Sandrars reminded me of. Of you more than Celine, mm, mm, because mm -hmm. because uh, there's something there's a kind of brightness. Yeah. About Celine kind of wanders off. Loses little, track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets onto issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And Sandrars never did. And Sandrars, yeah. I, I kept saying, this is Bukowski in French. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's wonderful. Yeah. Is yeah. he translated a lot? There's a couple. I have like two <coughs> books. Mm -hmm. and new Directions brought him out, right? I don't know. You know, I haven't seen... Uh, all I've seen him are excerpts, and I've been, when I've seen him over there, I said, this Oh, if guy I find the book, I should send it down to you then. Oh, I'd love it. Yeah, yeah the Sandrars, because he's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, don't, mm. you don't hear much of him, no. There's a biography of him out, too. Mm -hmm. I think. That would be good. Okay, yeah. I'll look for it. All right, great. But Sandrars, because I always said, jeez. And, mm -hmm. I, and I got my kid to read Sandra's because they said he's like, mm -hmm. he's like Bukowski. Mm -hmm. right. That's good. Right. Anything right. you can get Hank to read is great because it's so oh, hard yeah. to find yeah. something I that can't he read enjoys. Anything. Something that he hasn't read already. Okay, well, I'll check this. Sandra's was, was one of my favorites. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, that he, had, he had your spirit. And, um, I think Mark Bay never mentioned him. I don't know. I, uh, it's like I said, I've just run against little page or two here and there. And it, goes, and it clicks, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice to really run across somebody who boosts you with your writing, makes you feel good, you know. You say, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Like when I first read Celine, uh, what's the name of that one? I can never Journey, Journey to the End to of the Night. End of Night, or sometimes I say time. I, I was laughing in bed and I said, finally, somebody who can write better than I can. And I wasn't jealous at all. I was elated. But mm -hmm. then I read his other stuff, and it was not so good. Like uh, J.P. John Levy, that one book. I just like who? Don Levy. Oh yeah, the Gingerbread Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. Mm -hmm. And then his other stuff. I don't know. Never got that. No, no, never. Mm -mm. Salinger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Salinger just coughed it up. You've only been going a little over an hour. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, it's it's getting better. You might take a couple, a couple extra. I doubt it. Oh, well, I mean, there's an awful lot there. <laughs> we'll see. If, if I get drunk enough, I might feel free-hearted or something. Oh, or stupid. <laughs> how selfless of you, mm -hmm. dear. <laughs> Well, let's try to do this first, if we can. <coughs> mm -mm. <coughs> okay. We're set. <laughs>